Are you a network marketer that wants to run effective Facebook ads? Maybe you're trying it already and you just can't get ads approved. Maybe if you do get them approved, they're not working. Or you're like, there's so many options out there on Facebook. What actually works? Doesn't Facebook not allow my company on there? What can I really do? I'd love to answer all of that in this video. So if that sounds of interest, stay tuned. I'll be right back. Okay, I can't cover everything in one video, and a disclaimer, Facebook is a pain in the backside. So what I teach you today, tomorrow they may be rejecting, uh, what, you know, what's rejected now may be approved tomorrow. Like literally, this is your responsibility as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, to take what I'm teaching you and understand that it's what's working for me, it's what's generating leads and getting sales for me and my network marketing clients, but I can't offer any guarantees that this will work at all in the future. I hope it will, it's been working for years, but you just never know. So take that responsibility on your own shoulders. With that being said, let me just share what's working for myself and my clients. Hopefully you can get some value from it. The main issue I see with people using Facebook ads in network marketing is I believe now people understand that you can't talk about network marketing directly. They know that that will get them rejected but they're still being too direct and trying to accomplish too much in one little ad. The poor little fella, right? It's just one image or one short video. Those are the two that are working the best, 60 seconds or less video or one clear image and copy related to that image. Um, they're trying to get that to perform the whole function of a human being. I want someone to scroll through social media. They're just looking for entertainment. No one ever says, I'm going to change my life. I'm going to get on Facebook. No, they're just scrolling through, letting it wash over them. Perhaps they're embarrassed at a bus stop. They don't want to look people in the eye. You know, whatever, right? They're just there scrolling and you see one ad and you expect them in that one ad to be like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to buy this. I'm going to join this. I'm going to go for it now. That is exceptionally difficult to do unless you're very, very experienced in ads, which I'm guessing you're not, which is why you're looking for help. So what I want you to understand is, what is the purpose of your Facebook ad? And it, the purpose of the ad is for someone to be scrolling and go, hmm, yeah, I'll take a look. That's pretty much it. If you can understand that, I believe I've given you a huge advantage. Because instead of like, oh, how can I get this across? How can I inform them about that? How can I you know, jump through these 17 different hoops in this one ad? And then it comes out all, you keep reading it and changing it. And you're like, ah, I just, there's just not something lacking in that ad. That's probably what it is. You're probably trying to spread your information too thinly and cover too many bases. What you're better off doing is really grabbing someone's attention and having them go, yeah, yeah, I would like that too. Or I want to know more about that. Yes. And click then you can plug them into whatever process you've got. What's working really well for myself and my other network marketing clients is directing people towards a Facebook group funnel or having them engage with the ad and then having yourself or an assistant reach out to that person, you know, because there's already initial engagement there. What's also working is short video, building an audience from those viewers of that video and then retargeting those viewers and saying, hey, you probably see my videos, let me talk to you about this. So. All of those are great campaigns that are working right now for myself uh, and, and my network marketing clients. So I teach Facebook ads too. Um, but understand that in any of those ads, right, you're just trying to get that next step. You're just trying to get that next step. I'll give you one final piece of information. It's getting tricky to call out an audience. Some people, like, I can get away with it because I spent a lot of money with Facebook. I've been doing it consistently for years. But even now and again, I sometimes feel when I'm putting an ad out there, well, maybe that's a bit close. Touch what I haven't had an ad rejected for, for years, but, but still, better to play it safe. So if you start, if let's say you're in health and wellness and you're you know, trying to sell like uh, supplements, you wouldn't want to say, hey, are you, a, you, are you a, an uncomfortable, overweight, you know, fat dad? Click here. Like, you know that's insulting, right? Even if I remove the word fat, Facebook's going to say probably no to that ad. Hey, you're asking someone to admit something negative about themselves by clicking. If they click, they're saying I'm overweight and I'm unhealthy or whatever, right? So don't ask them please to do that. What's working better, and again, I can't say it will long term, but right now, what's working better is to talk about your own troubles and the fact that you have a solution. So instead of me saying, hey, are you a, are you a network marketer and you can't generate leads and your business is terrible? Instead, I'm saying, I remember when I first got into a business and I couldn't generate leads. 
Didn't matter how good my presentation was, all my comp plan or any of those things, if I didn't have anyone to show. Now, thankfully, I figured out what worked in generating leads, and I now share that inside of my Facebook group. I'd love to share that information with you, specifically around using leads on social media, generating leads in this way, that way. Um, I can't guarantee results, but all I can say is I'm sharing what's working for me and what helped me solve that problem. Now, something along those lines, again, we can't guarantee it gets approved, but I'm seeing that format of ad do really well and have no issues at the moment for myself and my clients. So what I did with that is allowed the person to relate to me. Think about that, right? They can see it and they go, yeah, that's the problem I've got, but I'm not asking them to call themselves out with it, even though I am calling it out. Also, I didn't have to mention network marketing. When I mentioned methods such as comp plan and, and uh, you know, rank advance or whatever, they understand, oh, this is MLM. So I got it across there without mentioning it. Um, so just, I just don't wanna make this video too long. Those are some really useful tips. I've given you a huge advantage there, I believe, with your Facebook ads. If you have more specific questions, I recommend going to the link that's in the description or in the comments. Over there, you can connect with me personally by requesting an invitation to my Facebook group. I do teach lots of advertising and methods, lead generation in that group. Um, there's no promotion of other companies, so it's safe for you and your team. And I can answer your questions directly. I'd love to give you that value that's inside.